So when we're talking about some physical properties of organic molecules, uh, one that pops up a lot is the solubility. Okay. When we're trying to figure out the solubility of organic molecules uh, in water, uh, we have to think about uh, how polar it is. Okay. So it's a question of polar versus uh, nonpolar. The polarity versus the nonpolar nature of the molecule. Okay. And so we know that carbon hydrogen bonds are nonpolar. So if it is a straight hydrocarbon, whether it be an alkane, alkene, um, or even an aromatic, um, it's going to have low solubility. Because if you remember when we talked about solutions, it's like dissolves like. And water is polar, of course. It's very polar. So the more polar the organic molecule it is, the higher the solubility it will have in water. And so what leads to the polarity of organic molecules? Well, we know that um, carbon oxygen bonds and carbon nitrogen bonds are polar. So the more carbon oxygen bonds and the more carbon nitrogen bonds has, uh, it is more polar. Oftentimes, you've got to think about both. For example, let's think about, you know, methanol. Ethanol. And then a really long chain alcohol. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this would be nonanol. Nonanol? I don't know. Nonanol? Okay, so nine carbons, all right? So the OH group, the alcohol group, is polar. And the hydrocarbon portion of this molecule is nonpolar. And so uh, the question of solubility is that the more, the bigger the nonpolar section of these alcohols, the less polar or less soluble it will be in water. And so if we looked at the polar or the solubilities, methanol and ethanol have very high solubilities in water because they have very small nonpolar sections and uh, a very polar hydroxyl group, the OH group. Uh, this long chain hydrocarbon with the OH group would uh, not be very soluble. It has a huge nonpolar region that would reduce its uh, solubility in water. And so uh, the longer the hydrocarbon chain gets, the less soluble these molecules are in water. And that goes for any type of organic molecule with a functional group, okay? Um, sort of backtracking, if it's just hydrocarbons, again, it has very low solubility. So hydrocarbons have low solubility. But even then, it's a question of how uh, large it is. So say uh, pentane, even though it has a low solubility in water, it would have a higher solubility in water than say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octane. So because it's a smaller um, molecule, it would have a slightly higher solubility, although both of them would be uh, have very low solubilities. Okay, um, so we talk about other um, functional groups and the same story holds true. Okay, um, let's say we have this carboxylic acid. So this would be one, two, three, four, and so this is what? Um, butanoic acid versus um, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Uh, hexanoic acid. All right, this molecule, because it has the smaller nonpolar uh, region, would be, have a higher solubility. Okay, the additional oxygen also helps if we compared it to its alcohol counterpart. So if we're comparing uh, butanoic acid versus butanol. So now we're comparing the blue one to the black molecule. Butanoic acid is gonna have a higher solubility because it has that extra oxygen, which is uh, more polar. 
okay? And so butanoic acid is still going to win over butanol. Um, if we go back to alcohols uh, for a, a little bit, um, we can compare one, two, three, four. So let's do butanol again versus one, two, three, four. Let's say uh, butanol with two hydroxyl groups. So this would be butanol, one butanol. This would be one. 3-dibutanol, the di indicating that there are two hydroxyl groups or two alcohol groups because of the additional oxygen and the additional polar uh, region um, this would have a higher solubility. Okay. That's of course because of the intermolecular forces uh, between these two. Uh, the OH group is polar, it also has hydrogen bonding, um, and so that's very strong, and that's what's attracted to water, and so that's what increases its uh, solubility. Another very important uh, physical property uh, that we could discuss uh, would be the melting points and boiling points of these um, organic compounds. All right, so um, the two sticking points for this one are also going to be uh, size of the hydrocarbon chain and also the polarity of the functional group. Okay, but this time, the longer the hydrocarbon, the higher the boiling point. All right, so this is one, two, three, propane, butane, uh, pentane, hexane. And so as we're going across, the bigger the molecule it is, the higher the boiling point because of the uh, intermolecular forces, which are known as dispersion forces, uh, increase. There's a higher chance that they're going to induce dipoles uh, in each other. But anyways, the bigger the hydrocarbon, the higher the boiling point. Okay, And propane, butane are even gases at room temperature whereas uh, pentane and hexane are liquids at room temperature. And you can get even to bigger hydrocarbons uh, where they actually become solids at room temperature. So the bigger the uh, hydrocarbon chain, the higher the boiling point because of increased intermolecular forces, and then of course uh, polarity. Okay, So the propane versus propanol versus propanoic acid, okay? Um, the boiling point is also gonna increase, not because it's getting any bigger, although it is getting slightly bigger with the additional oxygen, but the uh, bigger point is that uh, the um, polar group is increasing. The addition of this uh, hydroxyl group, this alcohol group, changes it from a nonpolar molecule to a polar molecule, which has stronger intermolecular forces. And then, of course, um, the additional um, oxygen increases the polar, uh, the polarity of this uh, molecule even more, which increases it in intermolecular forces and makes it uh, have a higher boiling point.